Welcome to Wisdom for the Day, a thought-provoking trek through the book of Proverbs, where timeless wisdom awaits. Join us as we unlock the secrets of Proverbs and transform our minds towards embracing true and godly wisdom. Each day, we'll reflect on a different proverb in order, unraveling its layers of insight and practical application. Get ready to be inspired, challenged, and empowered to live a life of purpose and righteousness. Wisdom for your day starts now. Today is day 197. We're in the 16th chapter of the book of Proverbs, verses 31 through 33. Gray hair is a crown of glory. It is gained by living a godly life. Better to be patient than powerful. Better to have self-control than to conquer a city. We may throw the dice, but the Lord determines how they fall. In verse 31, this person is an old man who respects God. The man's gray hair looked like a crown. This old man deserves a real crown because he's wise. We need to respect God and do the things that God says are good. And then we too will deserve honor like the old man. Now, this man is not like the man in verse 30. The man in verse 30 caused trouble for other people. But the man in verse 31 did good things, and he spoke wise words. And the result was that other people benefited. So the man in verse 31 deserves great, great honor. In verse 32, the last man in this passage is a patient man. He's not angry, and he doesn't fight. He achieves results because he works slowly and carefully, and he can achieve more than a man who wins a war. In another translation of verse 33, it says, Men think that things happen by chance, but God controls everything. In the Bible, people sometimes make decisions by lot. That's a game of chance. Jesus had 12 disciples. And one of these was Judas, who helped arrest Jesus. And then Judas killed himself. Now, afterwards, the Christians decided to appoint a new disciple, and they asked God to guide them. Then they chose Matthias by Lot, Acts 1, 21-25. Now, we don't need to use lots like this today, because God has given us the Holy Spirit to guide us, John 16, 13. But we, a lot of times, can't explain some events in our lives. Things happen and we don't always know why. Some people say this happened by chance or by accident. But we know that God is guiding us by his Holy Spirit. And we know that God controls these events. The first proverb reminds us to respect the knowledge of older people, which is unusual in today's youth-obsessed society. Now at 56, I have very little hair that hasn't turned gray. I wear it like a badge to remind me of this verse, to live a godly life. And kind of as a bonus because Kimmy likes it a lot. In verse 32, it emphasizes God's desire for his creation to be humble. And in verse 33, it reassures us that God is still in control, even in a chaotic world. So let me ask you, when you hear about all the evil and destruction on the news, do you sometimes doubt that God is still in control? Maybe you should watch less news. This is a first. I never, ever post my bloopers, but I made myself laugh on this one. So I just thought I'd share it. And then Jesus killed him. Jesus. Jesus killed himself. <laughs> Jesus. Well, that's all for today, but I'll be back tomorrow with more of Solomon's wise teachings. For free Wisdom of the Day merch, head to buymeacoffee.com forward slash renewed mindsets and consider becoming a community member. The executive producer of Wisdom for the Day is Yelena McClellan. The co-producer and spiritual advisor is Kimmy Shirley. Intro music by Weston McCurry. If you like this show, do me a favor and tell someone about it. 
share it with them. I'd really appreciate it. Until tomorrow, I'm Rick. I love you. See ya. The only thing there is to say Every silver lining's got a touch of gray Hello. Do you ever feel defeated as a Christian in the confusing times we live in today? This is where God's Loving Sacrifice podcast comes in. We do Bible studies to help you strengthen your walk with the Lord in today's crazy world. We also encourage you to share the gospel and the love of Christ with this world in need. John 3.16 tells us about God's loving sacrifice, and we use the Word of God to help you find a fresh perspective on issues like forgiveness, love, obedience, mercy, and reconciliation. Join us as we delve into the true essence of faith in God and our call to go into the world and preach the gospel. So listen at www.godslovingsacrifice.com.